Hello, welcome to helpyourmed.com. Today we'll solve problems which is con contain unit conversion within household systems. First example we'll be solving by using dimensional analysis. And we have given this case two pint equals to how many ounces? Well, from the conversion table, we know one pint is equals to 16 ounces. From the table, we got one pint equals to 16 ounces. We can rewrite that. Because we're using dimensional analysis, we can rewrite that as a one pint over 16 ounces. Or we can also write 16 ounces over one pint. Now there are three different ways we can write it, but we are looking for pint to ounces. So then we're going to use, since they gave us a two pint, and we want to convert that to ounces, we'll start with the two pint and figure out which conversion factor we should apply. So since we're going for pint to ounces, so we want to cancel this pint with the pint on the bottom here. So I will use 16 ounces over one pint. So we can cancel the pint with the pint over here. So then we're going to have answer as is 2 times 16, which is 32 ounces. Let's solve the next problem, part B, also using dimensional analysis. We have 48 ounces equals to pint. As we discussed earlier, we know the conversion factor for pint which is one pint equals to 16 ounces. So again, since we are applying dimensional analysis, we need to know how to, what to apply. So we also can rewrite the same thing in proportion. We can write one pint over 16 ounces, or we also can write 16 ounces over one pint. Again, so you have three options and we using dimensional analysis, so we have a 48 ounces, we want to convert them to pint, so we want to uh, start with 48 ounces, which is given, times one of the factor and which one's the best fit in here, we all say uh, we want to go to pint, so it's going to be pint over 16 ounces. So we'll say one pint over 16 ounces. So then ounces and uh, ounces cancel, so we're going to have a 48 pint over 16. Yes? Then we say how many times 16 going to 48? Well, say 16 going to 48, three times, so then say three pint. Let's continue with problem C, where we have 20 ounces equals to cups. So we look into what is given to us. Again, in this problem, we have given 20 ounces and we want to convert that to how many cups. So we're going to multiply the conversion factor cups to ounces. So we know one cup equals to eight ounces. So we want to cancel ounces. So we're going to write, and we're going to go to cups. So we're going to write one cup over eight ounces. So then we can cancel ounces with the ounces. Then we have a 20 times 1 cup is going to be 20 over 8 cups. And then when you simplify, 20 over 8 cups is going to be 2 and half cups.
cups. Let's continue and do D. Do we, we have four and a half cups equals to how many tablespoons? Well, let's take a look what is given. It's given four and a half cups. And we want to convert into tablespoons. So we cannot convert directly like how we did previous examples. In this example, we will say we converting cups to tablespoons. So first we see from cups to we can go into one cup to eight ounces, from cup to ounces. Then from the ounces, we can see one ounce equals to two tablespoons. So let's multiply using dimensional analysis. We're going to say four and a half cups. We're going to convert that to ounces, so we're going to say we're going to cancel the cups, so we're going to write ounces on the top. So we're going to say eight ounces over one cup. That's the factor we're going to go. And then we can say, oh, cups and cups cancel. Then we're going to go from ounce to tablespoon, so we're going to find the factor here from the table ounce to table, so we're going to say one ounce equals to two tablespoons, so we're going to write, we're going to go to tablespoons, so we're going to say two tablespoons over one ounce. Then we can cancel ounce with the ounce, and then we multiply what is left, so four and a half times eight times two tablespoons, which is, will give us what? So we multiply four and a half times eight times two. So four and a half times eight times two. As you see that we have four and a half times eight times two TBS. So now how are we going to simplify that? Well say four and a half Let's stick with fractions, not in decimal, four and a half, times eight times two TBS. So four and a half we can write as a uh, improper fraction, which is going to be two times four, eight plus one makes a nine over two times eight times two. Then we can see easily we can cancel the two from the bottom with the two on the top on the numerator. So then we get left with nine times eight, which is seventy-two TBS.